Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> we have discovered some of the biggest OPM karaoke hits that probably your neighbors are banging out right now in their appropriately well-placed and well-timed, as always, sat in Uman sessions. Yes. Now, karaoke isn't the only thing that's popular in the Philippines, or that was made in the Philippines. Also, the yo-yo. Oh, no! If I was so bad, oh my God! So today, we're going to discover and dive deeper. I am you so don't. sorry, people. <laughs> oh, it sang. Oh my God, it's like it's a, a woman. chorus. She was like this big. What in the guacamole? How old is she now? I have no idea. Please stream my first written single entitled Praising Hours. Hours. Link in the bio. Ladies and gentlemen. You are on, girl. You know what you got to do. But look at this picture of a sang. This is how we remember her. And this is her now. What? Well, that's not a very nice (laughs) picture. But But she's like a grown woman. She is like a grown person. Like... What song is that? Is that an original? No, that is a very popular track. But this guy made it and he went super viral. Georgia. Maybe he really likes the state of Georgia. No. It's Georgia he... state. Yeah. It's also a country, isn't it? It, it is. Oh my God, yes, Efra. Yeah. I think that's right. Maybe he just fell in love. It's like me he making did. a song about Catherine. Uh, exactly. But it would be a diss track, wouldn't it? One of the tools that we use lately for rehearsals or just to have fun is Wondershare's Uniconverter 14, which has a bunch of features audio-wise that will make karaoke sessions and certain human sessions way easier. <laughs> yeah, I've been using it lately for practicing a lot at home. With the vocal remover section, you can isolate the vocals as well away from the music so you can focus on diction, maybe only the singing phrase that you are interested in, and also sing on top of the of the instrumental as well without the vocals. And it happens in like literally a couple of minutes. It's so cool. Quick. Here's an example of us <laughs> messing around uh, for our own very own karaoke session. Please enjoy the chaos. <laughs> Sat in Uman <laughs> in London. But truly, it's a great rehearsal tool, practicing tool, but also you can take it to the next level because there's also audio enhancing yes. features. There's also a uh, file compressing. Um, but one of the things that I don't think gets spoken about enough, you know those great songs you find on YouTube, but they're not available on Spotify. You can download all these videos. Mm-hmm. Actually, I think it's like over 10,000 websites. You can use Uniconverter to download videos from and then convert them into MP3 files. So you can have them on the go on your phone or any mobile device that people use nowadays. <laughs> Also, some of my favorite features, like the vocal remover, are free to try. So make sure you click on that description, that link on the description below, and download it now. And all of that, it's available in Uniconverter 14. It means a lot that uh, Wondershare continues to put out these amazing products and also Mm -hmm. for us to use them because we've used only Wondershare products since the beginning of the channel. Do make sure you check it out. The link will be in the description and have happy singing karaoke sessions. That's right. I literally just snorted. This kid doesn't read? How is it accurate? You know what's interesting? She is so, so pinpoint accurate. Yes, yeah, so this is something that bothers me what? a lot, and, and it has to do a lot, obviously, with the singing culture and sort of the the the, you know, it, it, this is an activity that you sort of do. Look, you, you have your toys, and then you have the fucking karaoke machine. You know what I mean? And it, the How fun. Old is she? 
the funny thing is she's probably heard this song so much that probably you know she doesn't know how to read oh, correct. Um, but she knows the structure of the song um, and she understands you know it, it, it's like a it, it's like a circle that that section it's like never enough never enough never enough for me for me for me and then it repeats again it's three and three you know three lines each um, and she understands it goes on for a long time and then she stops and he goes oh never enough ne-. but the funny thing is She's so used to seeing the karaoke thing that she that knows that when it goes purple, it's her time to sing. Holy fuck! What? That is actually so impressive. You know, honestly, this these children that are born in this environment just are just made. They're just made to be on stage. And I, and I genuinely, I, I, we've said it before in other videos. I think one of the best ways to learn how to sing uh, is just singing. And one one of one of the reasons why I think the Philippines uh, specifically has sort of inspired so many people, not only through the channel but just as a nation on its own, and has inspired us so much, um, is because this is actually a really good way to be, build confidence, build comfort, and learn how to sing. Michael ripped palingilingi mina nam ripped. There was a woman around him, or women around him. They, they will swoon. melt. Yeah, I, you will swoon. It's your little just, suddenly you're a little puddle, and then you're just there. Because he really has that voice. That's like that that really uh, sought after, uh, like attractive in that sense that makes you pay attention. Mm-hmm. Ma- masculine voice, but I, it's also so t- tender. But it, it's so weird. Yes, like, I think that's the magic. Is like is that tenderness <clears throat> mixed with the. R&B mm. style and and the whole freaking vibe. I just don't know what he's got, but he's got this magnetism. That's right. Like it just draws you in. It's, really it's, intriguing. Yeah, we're like, how cool is this guy? I love this. Sorry, continue, please. If a man could be two places at one time, I'd be with you. It's so raw for him. <laughs> If I had that voice, dude, I said this before. If I had that voice, it'd just be game over. Literally. We thank God that is not I would have become president. I would have become prime minister. Probably would have entered the royal family. I, I kid you not, Elon Musk wouldn't have shit on me just if I had that voice. Because, like, negotiations. It's going really, I want $100 million. If uh, it's going really badly, and you're starting. Oh, who can say no? They're like, yes. yes. <laughs> and then I'm like, I like 150. Because I like to be in the... You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Drunk of a nut. Half my money. 
song is this? No, I it's, it's like back home we have this thing called like trava lenguas, uh, which I guess what do they call them? Twisters of the tongue or something. Tongue twisters. Twang, oh right, well, of course, tongue twisters, and uh, it, you sort of you go like that, but also there's like what's the one where you sort of you, you try not to breathe sort of thing. Uh, but you just sort of, it's not like a rap, it's more like, a, it was like a prose, I remember there was like an exercise. Yes, I, again, it fell into like the diction exercises that we had yeah. to do, but yeah, I don't, and, I don't remember. And, the, you know, some of the hardest ones, like you would go, da, 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 and, never, and never stop, and obviously, I guess rapping kind of comes from that. But what the fuck song is this? This song, Who's the original singer? I'm not only gonna lie, but the freaking sound equalization with the, <laughs> I stand here, you stand there, we share one mic situation, that is... A vibe. When Levi's okay? and just vibing. They're just living their best life. And I love that this has one million likes. It deserves another one. Just it says, saying. It says, sorry guys. Kung di ko marele piliang. Maga comments. Nio sobrang tamikase nak coco. Wow. Coco. Coco melon. Coco mint. Coco mint. Po. But I try my best. Na marele piang coca yo. Okay. Now ladies and gentlemen. If you didn't understand any of that. It's because you don't speak Tagalog. This girl. Get ready. Rino. And if I had that voice, I'd literally yeah. be considered a superhero. I kid you not, that's like supersonic. Have you seen that? Do you remember that shit movie, Doctor Strange? That yes. garbage movie, Doctor Strange. The basura. Basura, that's... Basura. It's, it's not It's not sabi sabi. That shit's for real. It's garbage. I've been there, seen a shit. There's like a superpower. That like I love it, how ever I just... <laughs> I love that word, sabi sabi. It's one yeah. of my favorite words. Sisu! Anyway, so... <laughs> Evans. That song is basically impossible. But just, uh, just put it into perspective. Just one moment to reconsider this singing. <laughs> this is a birthday contest. So what does that <laughs> even mean? I want to know what the deal is. Like, what is the deal behind this whole? Like, what do you sing all sing together the same song? Oh, here's the then, thing as well. And then kind of pick a winner. This is not an ordinary day in the Philippines. Like, maybe this happens all the time. What? Like to sing, but to get to that level of singing, holy shit, dude! I just, I don't really. You're like an alien. The, Kevin Trakenya is genuinely like an alien, though. The freaking larynx just are yeah, like yeah. here. He's not real. I, I, I don't believe it until I see an X-ray of his lungs. And his, it's not even it, the and lungs. His larynx. I just think the larynx are just like, how do you move them that way? Like, I, female singer struggle. Yeah, that song is basically impossible for a You guy. know what I mean? Like, what? Oh, I must see. 
Kelly Clarkson. I swear to God, he sounds like Becky on Yakab Sadilim. Yeah, I don't think it sounds like Beckham. I do think I that. Think does, I don't think. I do well, think that's a good collab, though. No, no, no. It doesn't because Beckham's brighter. And no, because uh, when Beckham's down in the lower range, though, you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess. You know what? You know what's super cool as well is like with with Arthur, and I guess with all these videos is like because you know power vocals and the riffs and runs. Um, that's why I think if you're looking for like the hardest or the best pedigree of singing in the world in terms of competitions um i would suggest you watch filipino singing competitions like that one like the Holland takes it's probably it the best example of that i know philippines is so hard though yeah Tawagnan Tahalang, the clash uh um, yes idol philippines mm -hmm. all these shows are incredible even your sound your face sounds familiar they're all incredible at showing the true pedigree of uh, singing. I think that Wagnan Tahalan is yeah. better because it this is these are regular people that then go on yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah. And, and go on to become pro singers. So in terms of like comparison of competition, like the, the competition in the Philippines is the highest in terms of singing wise, in terms of qu quality of singing. Yeah. But the interesting thing nowadays is that in this last five years, you're really starting to see an evolution in the Philippines, the Filipino music industry, that it isn't just about runs or riffs and range. Or high belts exactly. and crazy. It, yeah. It's also about uniqueness, cadence and rhythm and uh, also a sound. Like th there seems to be a market for new sounds, not mm -hmm. just power vocals. Yeah. And Arthur Nair is a good example of that, you know. Or oh, sp special entry. Pelas Cores. <laughs> yeah. That's like whole family in the fucking video. I need to live in that house. Bro, imagine her son is just like walking up and down, just living his best life, and then her mom, his mom sounds like that. He just doesn't could you, know. Could you just imagine you wake up one morning and your mom is just like, oh, la, la, coming in now. Dude, I just thought of that. She's, you know? she's like making eggs, right? I know. She probably sings because she's a normal person. Exactly. She's not an act, like she's, she's not an I actual immortal like like, she, i know she's not like she's a person yeah or she's something, like a real you know? human that like she goes Which to the is, toilet I, that's so weird and she showers me. and she makes eggs what that's you know? the most bizarre thought you have planted in my mind and i would imagine as she makes all eggs and stuff like she probably sings humming know? along to like what's the, that song i like my new favorite regime velasquez song that had that had dadaling dadaling that dadaling yeah really doesn't it have an h yeah dadaling that that's what Dadalhin. it's called. That's you it. know, because yeah. previous to that, it was uh, either or in love in the clouds. Or Arau Gabi. Arau Gabi is a Arau banger. Gabi. Probably you're just, not even her own songs. Probably just songs that are like playing on the radio or something. You're the kid that came out of her stomach. And you're like, you just think it's normal. And this is just like, yeah, this is a normal day in and my I life. And I say, I know that you don't come out of the stomach. I just want to keep this PG-13. <laughs> You know what I mean? All right. Anyways, uh, what? <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the best of the best. Yeah. At the thing that they have created. Like the Jojo. <laughs> though, Efra, nobody was playing a Jojo, though. Or the karaoke, karaoke singing machine. machine. And you can do that yourself using Uniconverter. So download it now. It's in the description. And adios. Oh, my God. <laughs>